Let's talk to Stardust CEO Claudia Albrecht. Good morning to you. Thank you very much indeed uh, for taking the time. Um, let's talk about the business, then we'll talk about the kind of rates of return that we're expecting from it. Claudio, um, I, I read with interest some of the interviews you've done. You talk about the fact that taking costs out of the business is a no-brainer. So how do you get the top line moving? Well, thank you for having me. Um, the top line of Stada, first of all, Stada per se is a very good company and it performs really well. So top line will mainly be moved by new products, new product launches, and obviously also uh, expansion geographically. Uh, and in terms of how easy, you talk about it being a no-brainer to take cost out of the business. How easy is that actually going to be? It, it needs to be done, but how easy is it to do it? Well, we know Stada pretty well. We have been working with uh, Sinven and Bain Capital also in the due diligence process. So we know more or less where the levers are. And uh, it's not that easy. We are a highly regulated industry. So clearly everything yeah. you change in the product cost is, uh, uh, is so somehow has to do with the regulations and different uh, changes of, in registrations. So, so quite difficult, really, in reality. Um, OK, so you, you're going to move the top line. You're going to try and take costs out of the business. You're also going to try and make, migrate the business into biosimilars and, and other areas as, as the traditional kind of generics business faces increasing pressure. How exactly does that work? Well, biosimilars is a new generation of products where we see now more and more approvals in Europe but also in the US. So clearly uh, it's much more complex than uh, chemical generics. It's also much more costly. There's a higher risk attached to it. Um, obviously it's not that easy, but I believe the future for all the bigger generic companies has to be biosimilars.